Courtesy of RA, we've got this news, which I really fucking love. Big up, Moshak. Moshak opens a new club in Brazil called Oblico. Oblico, a 600 capacity nightclub and cultural space in Sorocaba opens in so on September 6th. Sorry, so it's already open already. So let's read the article. Brazilian artist Moshak is opening a new nightclub in his hometown of Sorocaba in the greater Sao Paulo regi region. The 600 capacity venue called Oblique opens its doors for the first time tonight, September the 6th. The sold out launch party for the space, which draws its name from the Portuguese word for Oblique, um, celebrates the release of Locomotiva Ibiza 2099 2, Moshak's latest EP on Circa Local Records. Brazilian company for vias professional audio provided obliques sound system set up with additional equipment from bnc speakers oh so it's not function one um beyond its club programming oblique will also host a rotating monthly exhibitions exploring electronic music history as well as workshops targeted towards artists and industry professionals it says oblique Obliku is uh, more than just a nightclub. It's a groundbreaking hub for the electronic music scene, created to inspire, educate, and connect both local community and global audiences the club shared in a statement. So personally, I think it's fucking sick. I've always said that's one of my goals in the future. I'm not really interested in buying a Lambo, in buying a Ferrari and shit. I'm going to go the fucking, I'm going to go Joe Rogan route. When I start making my big bucks, when I start you know, having thousands and millions of fucking views, the first thing I'm going to do is invest in a nightclub. It's very, very dumb. I'm sure opening a nightclub is similar to trying to open a restaurant. It's probably going to fail. But I think the idea of a fanatic, you know, a dance music nightclub, you know, a nightlife fanatic opening his own club is fucking sick. And also having the ability to just book yourself continually week after week, but also be involved in the programming, be able to create some lasting memories, impact your, your overall community will be fucking sick. And even if it ends up lasting for a month, the idea that I had, you know, to be able to open up a nightclub in the first place is something that's going to last forever. So that's something that I'm definitely looking forward to doing. So big up Moshak for doing it, using his fame, using the fact that he's, you know, one of the biggest DJs on the scene at the moment and, you know, carries himself a certain way. It's fucking sick. And also I love the fact that he's doing it in Brazil. He's doing it where he's fucking from, right? In the region of Sao Paulo. He's not opening up in LA. He's not opening up in Berlin. He's not going to Paris, London. He's doing it where he's actually from. And that's something that I would definitely do and kind of, you know, open up a fucking a nightclub, you know, in a part of London that I'm actually from, whether it be Canning Town, whether it be other places that I've lived, Custom House and shit, Beckton, all these type of places, and actually make that an institution instead of kind of going to all the hips of spots. So let's check let's check the um you, the Instagram and see if they've got any video footage or clips to see what the inside of it looks like. I like it. It's kind of, it's all red. So it kind of reminds me of um DC10. Soko Loco vibes. Um, you see, I think that's Seth Trucks are there, standing with him in the booth. Let's play the, let's play the video. It's him in the booth. I oh no, that's actually at Soko Loco, right? I think that might be at Soko Loco. I don't think that's at the club. I think that might be the wrong tip thing. Let's scroll up. Okay, this is the video of the club. There we go. There's a video of the club there with the lights. Uh, let's let's play the clip. Let's see what it's saying. Looks pretty cool. There's like bars of LED lights at the top, which is a really creative and easy way to kind of get light in the space. So you've got these like um, LED bars at the top that probably form part of the logo. But then obviously you can program in a different way to kind of light the space in a cool way. So I quite like that. And I also like the fact that capacity wise is perfect for me. 600 capacity is probably what I would go for. I'd aim to open up a club from like 300 to probably 600. That's a sweet spot. Because I feel like even nowadays, there's probably a real, there's a real lack of that size of club anyway. That's why Venue, MRT and Fold New Spaces are so popular because there isn't any small mid-sized clubs. There's either those size clubs or fucking, you know, a, an Ikea warehouse or print works. You know what I mean? There's nothing in between. So I feel like th these clubs are, the, are, I think, the bedrock of the scene. They're the ones that actually create the vibe and the community. These type of clubs are like 200 to 600 capacity. They're the ones that you actually are going to go to week in, week out. You'd go to blindly for a week and just to kind of chill out, but you're not going to go every other day to fucking, you know, um, print works and shit. I, don't, I wouldn't imagine anyway. If you do, you're a fucking freak. It looks a lot bigger than 600 capacity. I love, I love the space. Very high ceilings. The lights obviously make it a little, little bit deeper. But if you look above the lights, it's kind of high ceilings. And it looks like it might there might be a, a platform at the back, which is pretty cool too. So if you're in a DJ booth, it kind of looks like the back people are kind of raised. So that looks kind of cool. I like that. And everyone's on the same level as well. 
and there's a big vip back room dj area which is kind of cool which is kind of a good idea to do like you could probably change it you could probably have it have you could probably be you could probably have it be a space where people have to pay extra to get there or you could just have it be like a a spot where everyone could kind of walk it might be cornered off but you can kind of just walk behind there if you want to i think that's a pretty cool idea i really like that i'm not gonna lie um let me get another picture up here to check um this is from notion magazine maybe we have some pictures of the inside yeah we've got some pictures of the inside there you see the lights you see the speakers i guess this is i guess these are the bnc speakers they're not function one but they're bnc they're probably still sick as well i've never i've not heard of the company though there's there's the thing so i'm assuming probably local artists are performing there as well a bunch of residents as well pretty sick i like the look of it i'm not gonna lie i really do like the look of his club big up moshak man really really good idea very very good idea instead of you know who needs a Lambo? No, Lambos and Fries are boring. Let's open your own club. Guarantee you get booked yourself and also service a local community. Kind of give back to people who, you know, you know, oh, look, see, that's it. Oh, see, I like this. This is what I like. So I'm seeing a picture here. This is what I do design way. So the DJ booth is cornered off. So there's a gate around it, right? There's a D the DJ booth is cornered off. But I guess when the pictures, it looks like everyone's standing there. So you can technically stand and look at it. Because I kind of, as much as I like Fold, I feel like the DJ booth is kind of like cornered off too much. It's almost behind a wall. It's like a, it's like it's like a little thing itself, you know. You can't really feel connected to the DJs a little bit. I would prefer it those ability to kind of see from the back or to kind of feel like they were with us. I feel like the DJs are kind of like in their own little. It's almost like they're in like the, they're in like their own little booth. They have like a little spaceship, and you're like you know dancing underneath the spaceship. But it would be better if we were kind of all on one level. So I do like the design here where they have the DJ booth area cornered off with a gate around it. So DJs, you know, people can't just wander in and out, but people can just stand around and kind of look. It kind of gives the space a little bit more intimacy. It makes it feel kind of clicked and connected. So I do like that design. I'm not going to lie. I do I do like that. And obviously you got the DJ booth and shit. Nice to see. Um, and also, I guess it prevents as well decks from being broken because, you know, only people in there are DJs and DJs are unlikely to put drinks on the top of turntables as they're playing. But regular punters, they're going to do that shit. You got another clip here from inside the club. People dancing, having a good time. This might be a spot to actually add to the tech, to, to the fucking list, you know? I might have to go check this out, bro. It looks like a vibe. And it gives you an excuse to go to a place like Sao Paulo because most people go to Rio, right? You're not going to go to Sao Paulo for the most part, but... Techno tourism, that's why techno tourism is fucking sick. It opens up the world to you. And you might end up discovering a new genre. You might end up finding out that uh, fucking ballet, or you might end up finding out that Brazilian funk isn't just one genre and there's loads of smaller sub genres. You might end up finding out that, you know, not all Brazilians like Brazilian funk. <laughs> that would be fucking amazing. I, I would definitely love to check it out. I might have to go add, add this to my list of places to go and see. But it looks fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not I'm not mad at this club in the slightest. So big up Moshak um for opening it. And me me can't wait to see it IRL. Me can't wait to see it IRL. <laughs> Yeah, it's literally like a cage. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like the cause. The cause had a, a DJ booth like that. Was it like a cage? It's literally the DJ booth is literally like inside of a cage on the dance floor. It's a really cool idea, actually. Um, it might feel a little bit claustrophobic for the DJs. I remember um big up um big up uh Marie Monk's Terrier um fucking legend but i remember one of the stories that she shared once was really heartbreaking that she went to go play at some festival somewhere and the dj booth you had to kind of get through it through walking through a crowd and unfortunately as she was walking through the crowd um some guy was kind of touching her up and stuff so she got you know sexually harassed and stuff in it which is obviously fucking bleak but although that is likely to happen if you have a dj booth that's in that's on the dance floor in the middle of the dance floor it also provides a good atmosphere you know the likelihood of a dj getting hassled maybe someone trying to take something from their jacket or whatever or just you know it's annoying but the benefit is that it does create a really intimate like environment because they're, they're literally on top of you like the, you're like because look at this video the booth is literally in the middle of the dance floor uh, surrounded by a little fence 
and then everyone else is around you. So it's like, fuck you know. And you're allowed to use your phones as well, different, but make sure people use their phones and also skanking, so I'm all right with that. Yeah, I'm after God, man. I'm I'm have to go. Cause I've I've never I've, I'm not gonna lie. As much as I, much as Brazil's a beautiful country, I've never really been that bothered about going to Rio. I'm not gonna lie. I think if I was I think in my head I've always thought if I was ever go if I was ever to go to Brazil, it'd be to go to like a more rural place or like a place that's not so obvious. And Sao Paulo would be obviously the best place to go because obviously you know it's a, I think it's the second city essentially. Um, but that would be a more interesting place to go to Rio because I feel like you know. Even though I haven't been to Rio, I feel like we've all been to Rio because there's so much content about Rio on the internet. You know, every like I feel like in the last couple of years, influencers all fucking rinsed it out. Like it's a bit, you know, it's it might be a bit played out. But if I did go, I think Sao Paulo might be a place to go. And I think uh, Moshak's club here called uh, was it? How do you pronounce that? Is it Oblico or is it Oblico? Oblico, Oblico. How do you pronounce it? It looks like a fucking vibe. No lie. Um, let me play one last video and then we can bounce with this topic. But it looks fucking sick. They're doing after movies too, which is a good way to promote the club. After weekends, they're doing after movies. That's fucking a good idea. Which you don't get actually, innit? You get festival after movies, you don't get like clubs doing weekend after movies. Like, here's what happens. Yeah, uh, big up a uh, stream chat. I think who said it? I think Netwatcher. I'm scared of South America. Me too. Don't worry. Me too. Me too. Me too. And the thing is, though, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Sao Paulo is way more um, whitewashed, let's say, than Rio. I think Sao Paulo is meant to be the more safer place. I think it's also where a lot of the business happens and shit. Um, so I, I think, from what I remember, anyway, Sao Paulo is also there's more posh, rich people, quote unquote, that live there. So I think that's it's a. It, I think as a tourist, it probably might be a. A, an easier place safer place to go to blindly than maybe just to go straight to real obviously real i think as well is different i think as long as you avoid you know the sketchy areas you'll be fine but i think sao paulo is probably a lot safer to go to than you know bogota or somewhere do you know what i mean i think bogota might be a little bit more dicey but i'd also assume the dicier the place is especially a place like south america the funner it will be i can imagine the more dicey the place is the funner it's going to be probably I think that's, you know, I would imagine. I've got a feeling. I don't know, but I've got a feeling. If you went to fucking the diciest place in fucking South America, you'd have the bestest time. But there's also a possibility you might get hung from a bridge. <laughs> you know, with a with a piece of cardboard in front of your chest. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so it is what it is. But yeah, big up Moshak. Excellent idea. Can't wait to check out the club myself soon in the future. Um, that's, that's the name of it, Oblico, you can find it. I'll put the link, obviously, in the Reddit. Oh, sorry, in the disc in the description, not Discord, to see if you want it yourself. 